the surprisingly wooden actor is about to take center stage. I'm good at recognizing parts of the body. In that case, what's wrong with my head? Uh, <laughs> that's better. This round object was weighing it down. Much like that uh, top you're wearing. Mm, I've heard you've been trying that with all the weather girls, Falcon. I, uh, Telling well... them their tops are weighing them down. Hey, Falcon, uh, she tells you what for the she, uh, huh? Beyond you, pantry speaking, uh, uh, <laughs> Can that way for the bloke from Channel 4. Shabbat, we're trying to recreate the D-Day landings for a cutting-edge special. And remove the bra at regular intervals. <coughs> Let the puppies have a little air. I have, in effect, had some uh, medical training, you know, so trust me. And you have to be there, do you? Yes, it's best done under supervision in my room, actually. Postman. Sorry, I was just on the loo. Yes, all right, well, post oh, this to the weather girl oh. sitting next to me, would you? Um, yeah, and, uh, right. by the way, I'm right. being yes, heckled by palm trees. Could you tell the manager? Okay. Yeah. So you're taking your TV program idea down to Cairn. Would you like to tell us about it? Uh, yes, it's uh, it's called the man's wife who mistook her husband's hat for another hat. Actually. Yes. Yeah, it's very Channel Four. Uh -huh. And uh, if I could just do with Graham Taylor impression for oh, you, yeah. do I not f at that? Uh. Hey, hey, tell your mate he's just cost me a f job. Uh -huh. right? uh -huh. What's your... No sign of a ship around here, sir. Can't see a thing. Hang on, you've got the lens caps on. No, that's better. Uh, no, that was last week. They found the piano off that. Here's this week. Ship going to Cannes. Right, let's take a closer look. I see GB TV arriving. Oh, Christ. Arriving at Cannes, sir. I'll be with you in a moment when I get this thing off my eyes. <laughs> Wake up, away! I see GB TV's arrived. Oh, it's dear. Good. Not you, Duffelcoat. Henry God, in a neutral. There goes the champagne now. Artistic impression 6.9. Have another bottle of shampoo, Duffel! Another bottle open, Sol! You mean the Falcon told you to take them off? Ah, well, the champagne's freezing. <laughs> Hurry up and oh. drink it, he's going flat. Uh, can, can I speak to the great Vento? Yes, I'll hold. I'm holding. Uh, uh, I say, is that hat weighing you down at all? No, it's not. Vento, yes, Falcon here. Have you heard of staggering stories? <coughs> I want nothing to do with it. Nothing. Understand? That's just the point. I know they're going to try and get you into it. They're, you're a fat, eccentric slaphead. Just the sort of person they're looking for. I'm warning you. Uh, uh, watch out for it. Thank you. Look at that. I'm doing that old trick of cutting in bits of colour footage. <laughs> May I start by saying that I find you terribly oh. attractive? Yes, oh, I do, you old coy thing with your slim pins. <laughs> no, <laughs> listen, I really yes. wanted to tell you about my viewing habit. On GBTV? Yes, yes. this was last week's viewing oh. habit. You can see I have quite a large week. Lovely nails you have. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. Now, you see, this is one of my favourite programmes. It's yes. called Down Your Egg, oh. in which ordinary people are invited on to, as it were, down their eggs. Oh, yes. It's mm. nice, isn't mm. it? And uh, this next is my second favourite programme, which is called Up Your Egg, you see, where ordinary people are invited on to, um, to regurgitate their eggs. Mm. Mm, see, yes. Yes. I, I, I do like more intellectual kinds of programme, for example, yes. pro-celebrity election calls. Oh, yes, that's very good, isn't yes, it? Yes, in which ordinary people are invited to cast their votes while being driven along at high speed by famous racing drivers. Swing low, you old chubby. Now you're nice and clean. What are you doing in my room? Oh, I've never seen a grown man naked before, eh? Hmm. Yep. I suppose the manager sent you up about the talking palm trees, did he? Yep. You, yep, yep. Haven't got much to say for yourself, have you? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Just looking in your pants drawer. 
Well, I'd leave my pants drawer alone if I were you. Ah, wise guy, huh? And... Well, no point in asking you anything. Someone's been stealing my clothes. Look, all they've left behind is a cheese sandwich. All right, gents, if I might just say, get on with it. <laughs> We've agreed, then. I give you the check. Yes, and yes. GBTV gives right. you your pen format, right? Yes. Down your egg. Yes. <laughs> you enjoy it. <laughs> What's your name? Well, Stevie, we have a gold of you coming through. Tell me, warm fronts, love. Uh, door. Yes, I know it's a door, thank you. Clean pants for the falcon. Uh, uh-huh. uh, when he says pants, he actually means um, sandwiches. Yep. Uh, you take your hands off my sandwiches, they wouldn't fit you. Falcon, Falcon, they're throwing staring stories downstairs. I, 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 I mean, I don't know what it is they're filming, but uh, there's no stock footage in it. You're not thinking of leaving, are you? Uh, no. Oh. I'm getting out of here. I got no more lines. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, Falcon, what was all that about, huh? Hello, Falcon. Oh, talking underpants. Ooh, might be a trap. GBTV screening. I think they've got another winner. Mm, it's probably this highbrow quiz show. Have I got news for you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Hey, this Sony Mini comes a little terrific, Marie. Look. Topical. Good. Fine Martin. Hmm? Hmm? It's much better than figure on rid of angles, isn't it? Hello, girls. Who's going to have a funny line this week? Well, you do Shagging Paul's wife. I'll go on about the table as yeah. usual. And you do the scripted ad lib. Oh, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> He and his lot's my favourite now. You like him, do you? Since he started going to the gym, yes. Yes, well, what, what, what respect? He's got a lovely body, I think. Uh, do you think television's going down market? <laughs> no, I'm going down the market. There's today's schedule. They've uh, cut the news to one bulletin at four in the morning. Uh, we'll do it in one story. A Brussels toy sex cat in celebrity sport disease scare. Right, ready for the news. Put that fag out and get on with it. Right, come on, come on now. What's he doing with those rolls of film? Teddy top. Well, I've decided that it's a straight choice between the news here on the left and the filth and sleeves here on the right, and there's no way I'm getting my kit off to compete, <laughs> as it were, so I'm going to resign and uh, I'm... Yeah, yeah, oh, my goodness me. I uh, and resign. Bloody Nora. Charlie's resigned. I must go to the... Um, uh, Here we are. Uh, bar. Advertising calls for the new newsreader for you, and there's your redundancy notice. Just forget that. Newsread auditions in your own time. One, two. Darling, don't you see the FT and extend 3.2% down? Uh, sorry. Next. Uh, Bosnia, Bosnia. Sloop movement. Next. Sorry. There we go. Forest fires sweep through Australia. Stand them out. Stand them out. Stand them out. Next. Give it a bit more attitude, love. You're reading the news. Remember that. It's a performance. Love it. Mm. Good. And the main points of the news again. Again. The main points of the news again. And the mail of horns on the north of God. Oh, no, point, 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 point. Take my wife. The main points are she's not the main point. She's as fat as a pancake. Oh, God, <laughs> no. Stop it, stop it, loves. No, that was terrible. That was awful. Bring on the token Scottish newsreader, will you, Reg? I am not really Scottish, so I will step aside. Oh, hi, boys. I'm not Scottish either, but I love wearing the kilt. Right, get rid of them and cue Chaz. And here's the news. Uh, Prince Charles today opened a new bagpipe factory uh, somewhere. No! Is, uh, no! no you that was pathetic! I, I can't get to the uh, uh, now. Oh, sports. get him off, somebody. Uh, get the hook. I can't believe this. <laughs> no! No, no, that's cat! 